Hey everyone, it's me Millie from MJ Rainbow Loom Creations and today I'm going to show you how to make the double diamond twist bracelet. It looks like this. So these are all the, this is actually a one loom tutorial. I do have a two loom tutorial if you guys want to do this bracelet with two looms. Mm, just going to move this back a base. I'm sorry. So this is basically pretty simple. It's not too difficult. So you're going to need your loom in the V configuration and you're going to need quite a lot of rubber bands. So today you need four colors. In this in this bracelet I used four colors and this is another example. So I like to use four colors, but you can do just one color down here. Your perimeter color so you can do first of all your perimeter color and I think these are glow in dark white. Let me check. Yeah, these are glow in the dark white, and then you can do the color down the middle, which mine actually that color will be. So my perimeter color is black, and then my color down the middle, which is the dark blue part, the little single chain will be gray, and then on the side parts you can have just one color. So you can have neon green here, neon green green here, or you can do what I did, like orange and green. So today I'm going to use pink. You can just have like one color on the side, so you might just want just pink on the sides with the gray in the middle and the black on the side. So I'm going to use pink and dark blue. So I'm going to do like what I did in this bracelet instead of just using one color. So you're going to have your loom in the V configuration and your arrow pointing away from you. Oh, and you also need a hook. In my last tutorial, I used my green rainbow loom hook. But today, I'm, in this tutorial, I'm going to use my pink one. I like my pink one better as well as my green one. And then also, if you haven't seen, I did get the new rainbow loom so I can configure my looms and put them together. I got the cream metal hook too. See that? So yeah, that's why I am super excited to do this, my other tutorial, because I did have two looms. So now I can make a lot more bracelets. So, so I can stop talking because this video is going to be too long. We're going, And also you need a C-clip. And of course your rainbow loom. So you're going to start. Start with your black band and go from the center and out. And then you're going to go forward only on one side of the loom board. So only go up forward on this side. So go until the second last peg. Okay, so I'm at my last part. So when you come to here, you're going to go in to the middle twice. Okay, so twice, guys. And I'm so sorry, none of these bands are Rainbow Loom brand, which is sad, but just got to deal with it, guys. Just got to deal with it. So now we're going to take a silver rubber band and go for it here. Now, it may look, not look like that they are connected, but seriously, they, they are connected. So you're just going to go for it like this. They're going to connect, trust me. It's going to go straight up until the top of your loom. And we're just doing that last part. So now you're go we're going to start with our diamonds. Today I'm going to start with my hot pink. So you're going to go into the middle with your pink. Oh no, before we actually start the diamonds, we're going to do capping bands here. So you're going to grab one band and cap it. You're not going to cap here. You're going to cap on your second peg. And then you're going to cap again. Repeat, just regularly capping the bands. So repeat this until the end. I'll just do my last one. Okay, so we've completed all the capping bands. So now we are going to do the diamonds. So you're going to go into the middle with one of your colors. And then you're going to go out. And we're going to just do forming diamonds now. So you're going to go out to the left and then out to the right. And then you're going to go into your middle peg. And then you're going to go out to the left and out to the right. And then go from the left and into the middle. And then from the right and into the middle. And you can see how it's forming diamonds. The bottom will not form a diamond, but that's okay. Go out. Go out. And then go in. So repeat this until... I seriously grabbed a silver band. Okay. Repeat this until the end so when you come to around here you're going to go out like this 
and I'm trying not to make this video too long. And now you're going to flip over your loom. So at the end of this tip here, we're going to take a black rubber band and we're going to cap it. Yeah, we're going to cap the rubber band. And then here, we're going to take a rubber band, the same cosmic perimeter. If you don't do it the same cosmic perimeter, then it's going to look really weird. And you're going to cap it here. Okay? So now you're going to get your hook, and you're going to go into the peg, and you're going to grab the rubber band and hook it straight for it. Then you're going to go in here, grab that pink rubber band, and go into the center. And then go under that capping band, grab grab that pink rubber band and into the center. Then you're gonna go in here, and I'm not going to explain too much because you guys should know how to make a diamond bracelet or you need to be advanced. God, so, so hard, okay. So you're just going to go out like this and if you accidentally picked up two rubber bands, take one, both of them to one side and take the other band and make sure it's because that was twisted so yeah now you're going to go into the middle with one color and into the middle like do the same step about that guys so you're just going to hook a regular diamond and repeat this process until the end okay so now we're just going to add on the last part So now we finished all the diamonds. So now we're going to hook the gray bands. So you're simply going to go under your capping bands and grab the bottom gray band and hook it straight to the top. Let's so go under your pink and the capping band and grab the bottom band, which is mine. It's a gray one or silver. I think it's gray because it's not metallic. So yeah. So repeat this until the top of a loom. Okay, so I've reached the top of my loom, so now simply what we are going to do is we are going to hook our perimeter rubber bands. It's just going to go in and start grabbing those rubber bands and going out to the left twice, sorry, out to the right, and then we're going to hook forward just like a regular perimeter in any other single bracelet, but you need to be quite advanced to make the one way because it's actually quite hard, <laughs> okay? So you repeat this until the top. Okay, so I'm at the top, and when you reach the top, you're going to grab one rubber band, and you're going to hook it into the middle, and then you're going to go in here, put your hook into the peg, grab another rubber band, put it, put one rubber band here, and grab one rubber band up here, grab the top one, put it on the hook, and let it go through the loops on the side, and then hook it to this side okay and then we're going to put our hook in get a random color and we're just going to slip knot it for the time being gently well that broke so I'm just going to have to repeat so just like any other regular bracelet and then we're going to be joining these slip knots at the end so I'm just going to slip knot it and now we're going to simply pull it off. So I'm going to pick it off. So we have basically done half of our bracelet. And this is what our bracelet looks like. This is the front of the bracelet, so this side, but we are going to keep it on the other side so it looks like this, so the loops are behind, not in front. So you can't see the loops here, you can't see them here, you see? So then that looks like this. So basically, so we're going to keep it like that, and this is just half of it. So I'm going to do a different color on my other side with grey in the middle. So basically we're going to do the same step, except when it comes to placing, we're going to go from here and out, not here, here, or then it'll get too difficult. So we're just going to keep it from out in this. So last time when we placed our perimeter, we went like out this side. This time when we place our perimeter, we're going to go out this way, okay? So simply going to do the same 
thing with the perimeter bands. Well, did we go this way? Let me just double check. Yeah, go this way. So we're going the right way. So continue this until, you know, just do the same step that we did in the last one. Okay, so I came to here. And I'm just doing my last part. So you go in twice. So now we're going to place the gray bands. So we're not, so you're just going to go forward on this side. So go till the end. Okay, so we're just going to apply that last rubber band. So um, now we are going to um, add on some other bands. So first we are going to take the capping band from the bottom and place it over these pegs with our other side of a bracelet. And I'm just trying to grab my other side. Okay, and this can get a little trickier. And just place it on these pegs and repeat this process until this peg. Okay, so I came to this peg. So now your limb should look like this. Okay, so um, I forgot to mention I actually have some extra clay. I got a little bit right here, gray and gold. Okay, so well, silver, not gray. Silver, gray. This isn't metallic. So I'm gonna stop talking. And after you yeah, we've done that. So now we're going to do diamonds. So the diamonds are just the same. We're gonna start off by going in, even though they don't look like they're not connected. They trust me, they will be connected at the end. And then we're going to go out the entire way. And my slip knot should be there. So yeah. And then in. And then we're going out from the peg, the center peg, and out to the left. Then from the center and out to the right. Just pushing it down. Then from the this peg and into the middle. And then this peg and into the middle. Okay? Repeat this process until the end. Okay, so I've came to here. And when you have, you're just going to go out like this. So now we're going to add a few cap bands. So we're going to add one cap band on the silver band on this peg here. And then we're going to add a cap band in this open peg because, oh no, no, not this peg. Ugh. We're going to add our cap band right, oh, that fell off, just going to put it back there, right here. Okay, so now we're going to flip over our loom and this should be connected. And we're going to start hooking. So go into the pant band and grab that. Go into the capping band and grab the third band down, which is that gray band. And we're going to hook it straight forward. Then we're going to go in here and grab this blue band and hook it straight forward. Oh my god, my dad just kicked open the door. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go under the capping band and grab that dark, that blue band and hook it straight into the middle and basically we're going to do like we did with the other diamonds on the other side on the uh, on the pink with the pink ones so just going to go in and grab that third band that we see well it's the first band hook it to the left then go in grab that other band and hook it to the right and then go in grab that rubber band and hook it into the middle and do the same on the side and then repeat this process until the end. The reason I'm not showing you too much is because it's the same step, basically. So I'm going to show you one more time. Grab the, picked up the run rubber band. I'm picking up the run rubber band. Okay, there we go. So... Just going 
in. Okay. So, repeat this until the end. Okay. So we've um almost finished the diamonds. So we are going to go into a peg, and we're going to grab that band and hook out, and then hook out. And now we're going to start hooking our silver bands. So this is where it all connects and collides, which is going to be super, super fun. So now we have our slip knot at the right edge, so we know that we're doing everything the right way. So if your slip knot is not up the top um, here, then if it's at the bottom, then yours is going to look completely um, the opposite way. And I've done that once, so that's okay. Just testing out that I know what I'm doing. So now we're just going to hook forward with our, with our gray. So go under the blue and the capping silver, capping gray band and hook the top band. And I grab the wrong rubber band. Okay, I grabbed one of them where the right bands. So repeat this process until the end. Okay, so I finished the gray bands. Just going to give that a bit more of a tug. Sorry about the camera if it goes off a little bit. But anyway, now we're going to hook the perimeter so I'm really excited because that means we're almost done when we start hooking the perimeter so you're going to go under your capping band and grab the third rubber band which is basically the first actual band that's not capped and hook it out and then go back under the peg and grab the other rubber band and hook it out so here there's a lot of black rubber bands but if you have a metal hook like me it's going to be quite simple so just go under the black rubber band and grab that bottom black and hook up for it and then just hook your regular perimeter like I said if you don't know how to hook up regular perimeter then sadly you're probably not advanced um, advanced enough to make this so I just hook forward like this pushing back those blue rubber bands and grabbing that bottom black so hook straight up to the top so I came to the top and when you have get a rubber band and go in like this then get a band then get <clears throat> this put it on this peg right here and then put it grab it on your hook and let it go through and then put it on here and then put your hook through and we're almost done and put this on your hook let that go through and let that go through and then you can slip knot it and then Make sure it's slip not properly. And now we're going to pull it up. Okay, so here it is the beautiful um double diamond twist bracelet made with one loom so now for the extension part if you this this is of course not long ago for anyone baby for a baby but you're gonna be very gentle with this part this could break your entire bracelet you're going to take out your slip knot just one of them and you're gonna hold it nice and tight okay just going to put it on your finger after you take it out and I'm going to put it on my hook then now you're going to take another rubber band pull it a little bit just going to give it a bit of a tug being very gentle Oh, God. Okay, just wait one minute, guys. Hey, guys, I fixed it. Just like I said, be extremely gentle. So make sure you undo both of the slip knots and place them on your hook. Then you're going to get a black rubber band and just let it go through all of these rubber bands. So now you have an even. And then they look great. And at the bottom, you're going to be doing a similar step.
So with so now what you're going to do is you're just going to apply a C clip for now, but you're going to undo this at the end. And then with the bottom, what you're actually going to do is take both of these cap bands and we're going to take another rubber band and we're going sorry, I just moved the camera. And we're gonna thread it through the cap bands. And for the time being, we're just going to slip knot it. So then now it makes a lot more sense. So now we're going to do an extension. Do an extension cord for your size. And so I use five rubber bands. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. And then now we're going to take this part off the C class. Uh, just wait a minute. And then place it across here. Okay, so now we're just going to hook our extension cord, and you should know how to do this. Okay, so now we're just going to apply a C-clip, so I'm taking it off and applying my C-clip, and then at the back, I'm going to undo that slip knot again. And then now we're going to apply the C-clip to the other end. Okay, guys, there's my tutorial on the double diamond twist bracelet on one loom. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please give it a thumbs up, and please like and subscribe. Bye!